What is going on, everybody? My name is Nikosaurus71, and today I am starting my very first ever Let's Play, and it's going to be in one of my very, very favorite games, Pokemon Coliseum. Now, just a little info about this game. It did come out for the GameCube in 2004. Um, it was the first... Yeah, I guess it would be the first GameCube game that came out on the system itself. And it was actually the first Pokemon console game that involved capturing Pokemon. Now, as you'll see when we get into the story, uh, for people who haven't played, rather, I'm sure people who know, or who have played this game already know what's going to happen, but um, as you'll see, there's a bit of story aspect to it as to why uh, the Pokemon can't be caught in this game. But without further ado, let's get into it. see okay so i lost all my save data well that's unfortunate but we're gonna start a new game anyway so it's not like it matters all right what should we go for a name here now, normally with a pokemon game i usually just make up some random ass name on the spot but for the sake of canon I guess we'll just give him his normal name, which was Wes. And here we go. Skarmory! Earthquake! No, dude, Jim just let the fucking ants in again. What? So another cool thing about this game is it and its um, successor, which is Pokemon XT, which hopefully I'll be able to do at some point, um, are really cool because they don't give you a choice of starter Pokemon. They actually just give you two Pokemon, or this game gives you two Pokemon, as you can see right there, uh, in Espeon and Umbreon, whereas um, XT, that gives you Eevee, which will give you the option of getting one of the five Eevee Lucians. So this game did take place in Generation 3, so we have, um, we're going to see a lot of variety as far as the Pokemon go uh, in-game. I think there's only 48 Pokemon that you can capture total, uh, if what I remember is correct, but we are going to see a lot of really cool stuff in this game. Alright, so first things first, because I'm a fucking Pokemon nerd, I'm going to go see... stats we got here all right so looks like my defender here in Umbreon got some decent stats Espeon's got really good stats uh, when I was doing the trial run for this let's play when I was testing everything making sure everything was okay um, I noticed that my Espeon was one-shotting everything even like stuff that was one level lower than it and so I ran the um, the damage calcs through Showdown, and it turned out that Espeon had like per like a good nature and had like uh, maximum special attack IVs. Were there even special attack IVs in this game? I don't even know. But it was one shotting everything, and it, I was really confused. All right, so these guys are up to something dubious. I was smuggling drugs or something? I don't know. It's Pokemon, of course. There's no drugs. Smuggling berries? I don't know. What would be the equivalent of drugs in a Pokemon game? Find out. Alright. Authorities have made, an in made a stunning announcement on the mysterious building that exploded in Eclo Canyon. It was Team Snagum's hideout. Team Snagum is a gang of Pokemon abductors who have already been marked for arrest. The hideout was discovered only as a result of the explosion. By the time police arrived, the ruined building had already been abandoned. Because of the explosion is under investigation, it should become apparent eventually. Uh, I did that. That was me. Um, here. West. Kid over here did it. Alright, let's talk to some people. Uh, yeah, now I know about Team Sagam. Seriously a nasty lot. No telling how many trainers have suffered at their hands. Why would they do? Call them names. Let's see what this guy wants. 
Oh, I haven't seen your face around these parts. A traveler, huh? Not that it matters any. I don't know where you might have come from, but relax. Stick around a while. Yeah, but if I stick around here, the plot won't advance, so sorry. <laughs> Nothing got blown up on me. Yeah, except your wife. Alright. Pokemon Trainer 2, aren't you? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I can tell, and you're good. I can see it in your eyes. I bet your Pokemon are impressive, too. If the opportunity ever arises, I'd like to have a battle with you. <laughs> Though I doubt I'd have any chance of beating you. No, don't say that about yourself, guy. Stay positive, Summoner. Wait. Yo, wait, wait up! Hey, my name's Willie. Spelled extremely weird. After I got a good look at you, well, I got this urge to battle you. It's like I'm compelled to. Anyway, I look at it, it's obvious that you're no ordinary Joe. So what do you say? Let's you and me have a quick battle. Sure. I'm down. All right, all right. Over here this way. What are you, Matthew McConaughey, dude? All right, all right, all right. Yeah, I'm burning now. I'm on fire. It's full throttle time. Ryder Willie would like to battle. Two Zigzagoon. All right. So, this is the first major difference of these games when compared to other main series handheld Pokemon games. All of these battles are going to be double battles. Alright. Taunt. I'm getting VGC flashbacks. I don't know why. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Can we get the flinch? We did not. Unfortunate. Regrettable, as my friend Stormy would say. Alright. Let's just go ahead and finish it off. So, between our two starters here, Espeon and Umbreon, we're probably only going to keep Espeon around for the majority of the game. Um, just due to the fact that she's going to be very, very useful in the fact she's got very high special attack. Umbreon, while I do love the little guy, um, he's not really going to help us out too much just because he's kind of the big, bulky, um, uh, what would you call it? I guess just the big, bulky, dark type of the evolutions. Still love him, though. Alright, so he sent us off to Fenac City. Oh, right here. I have to say, between this and X or between Coliseum and XD, I definitely have to say Fenac City is my favorite location. I just think it's really pretty. Of course it doesn't like it doesn't help that. Uh, back there, all you see is desert. Like, it's just some random wall in the middle of the desert with the city in it. Help! Someone let me out! Kidnappers! Oh, okay, just drop the person, idiots. Shady guy folly. I always... I don't know if... It, He's supposed to be called Foley or Folly. I always just call him Foley. Alright. Let's throw my Eevees back out. Go. 
God, I hate Whismur so much. I kind of, it's it's mainly because of, I have PTSD from playing Omega Ruby, and I just, so many Whismurs in Rustic Tunnel. Nah, I guess that's mainly because I would, because that's like the best place to EV train in Omega Ruby for um, HP, but it's what it is though. Uproar. And you're dead. Little rabbit sound thing. Okay, what even is Whismur? Like, I just don't even know. It doesn't matter. Point is, we beat Foley. God, you're tougher than you look. I mean, I think I look pretty tough. You took out my Whismur. You're no ordinary trainer, are you? Uh, I mean, it's not hard to take out Whismur, honestly. Huh? Wait a sec. That face. Might you be Team Snagums? What? What? What's going on out here? Eee, somebody! Robbers! They're robbers! You be quiet. We're no robbers. We're kit. All right, you're an idiot. We're kidnappers. Get it? Kidnappers. You dang bad. Don't shoot off your mouth. Don't get on all happy just on account of winning this once. Next time we meet, I'll trash you and you, your Pokemon, and all. All right, you just, you, you gonna let the person out of the bag or, okay, I guess I gotta do this. God, this is tied good and tight. Can you believe those people? What a horrible thing to do. Not all you tugged on, Wes. Hello! That was terrible. Wes undid the knot, keeping the sack's mouth closed. Score! Phew, thank goodness. I am saved. Where is this? Where did those two bring me? This is Fennec City, the opulent city of water. This person saved you from those thugs. <laughs> the way he battled those goons, it was truly superb. I wish you could have seen it. I like how there's just something floating in the background back there. Just like, oh, don't mind me. Oh, so you're named Wes. I am. Okay. So normally her name's Rui, but I hate that name. So we're gonna call her Yuki. My name's Yuki. I'm sure glad I met you. I was in the neighboring town when those two grabbed me. Oh, those guys, did they use a peculiar Pokemon? Peculiar Pokemon? No, they looked ordinary to me. What do you mean by peculiar Pokemon? Oh, no. No, that's fine then. Well, it's easy to see something's on your mind. You should go see our mayor for his advice. He's a very kindly person. I'm sure that he'll be able to help you somehow. The mayor's house is near the Fountain Square past here. Go up the stairs from the square, and it's on your left. The mayor? Yes, that's true! The mayor might know something. Hey, Wes, I know I'm imposing, but I don't have anyone else that I can turn to. Please, can I get you to escort me for a while? Hell no! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Wes. I thought you might say that. If you're with me, it won't matter if those guys come back again. Thank you. Thanks for joining me for a while. Yuki became a partner. All right, so, we've had two battles, we got our partner, even if she's temporary or, I don't know. I think that's going to be a good place to end this episode. So everybody, thank you for watching, and until next time, I want you to stay safe, stay classy, I'll see you next time. Adios!